Hello friends, welcome to yet another captivating video of Wisdom Zone. This is Shubro and friends in today's video, I am going to give you some extremely important short English vocabulary. So it is my earnest request to all of you, please watch this video carefully to learn all the short useful English vocabulary I am going to discuss today. And if you still haven't subscribed to this channel, please do not wait. Immediately go ahead and subscribe to Wisdom Zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So friends, welcome back once again to this amazing video on short English vocabulary. And as I have promised in today's video, you're gonna get some extremely useful short English vocabulary and you can incorporate them in your speaking as well as writing. So before I go ahead, let me remind all of you that I have provided some more videos on short English vocabulary and advanced English vocabulary in the description so if you still haven't checked those videos please do not forget to check the links given in the description so without further ado let's get started with today's video so friends the first important word i'm going to discuss is vain so the first short english vocabulary is vain and let me tell you it is an adjective it means unsuccessful or useless something that is useless or maybe or something or someone who's unsuccessful so that's called vain and I'm going to show you an example also as you see on your screen all my efforts went in vain so I'm quite sure it's clear let me repeat all my efforts went in vain that means they were useless up next we will dive into the second word that is tempt let me repeat the second short English vocabulary is tempt it's a verb it means to induce or you may say to attract to do something so that's called to tempt someone so let me show you how to use it the salesman tried to tempt me by offering an extra discount that means perhaps he tried to induce me or attract me to buy a product by offering an extra discount up next we will dive into the third word the third short english vocabulary is keen it's an adjective very useful word it means very interested or eager to do something that's called keen so let me show you how to use it he was keen to start the new project that means he was very much eager or interested to start the new project so you can put it like this way someone who's keen to do something means that person is very eager to do something up next we will see the next one the fourth short useful english vocabulary is merit let me repeat once again merit it's a noun it means an advantage or a good quality is called merit so let me show you how to use it there are several merits of social media obviously there are so many advantages of social media isn't that so up next we will see the opposite one that is demerit which is also a noun that means a disadvantage so as you see we, we can use it like this way we need to know the demerits of social media obviously it has some demerits also you must know the demerits and use social media wisely isn't that so friends up next we will dive into the sixth word that is notion let me repeat once again the sixth short english vocabulary is notion notion is a noun it means a belief or idea it's called a notion about something that means a belief or idea in general so let me show you how to use it we had a clear notion about our new project that means we had a clear idea about our new project so i'm quite sure it's clear so friends up next we will dive into the seventh one that is toil very useful short english vocabulary toil is used as a verb as well as a noun the meaning is to work hard so that's called toil so you can directly use as a verb as you see tom toiled long hours to meet the deadline that means he worked hard long hours to meet the deadline so i'm quite sure it's crystal clear so friends up next we will dive into the last one that is nimble so the last short english vocabulary is nimble it is an adjective it means quick in movement or thoughts we also say agile that is another synonym of nimble so let me show you how to use it he has nimble fingers that means his fingers are quite quick in movement perhaps and swift that's called nimble fingers so i'm quite sure it's clear so friends today i give you some extremely useful short english vocabulary these are very useful and you can easily remember and use them because they are short and easy to use and pronounce so try to incorporate them in your speaking as well as writing and please go through the examples and try to make sentences and comment below and if you still haven't subscribed to this channel please do not wait immediately go ahead and subscribe to wisdom zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification so stay tuned for further informative videos friends and please do not forget to like 
share comment and subscribe to stone so